a new report warns that Earth has crossed its first major climate tipping point, driven by greenhouse gas emissions, as warm water coral reefs enter a long-term decline, which threatens the livelihoods of hundreds of millions of people. However, some experts have challenged the report titled Global Tipping Point 2025, which has been released by the University of Exeter and other international partners. The report says that it contains consolidated knowledge on how to govern Earth system tipping points, the risks they pose and the opportunities presented by understanding and acting on positive tipping points. The experts have challenged the conclusions about coral reefs, arguing that although the reefs are declining, evidence suggests they may be able to survive at higher temperature than the report indicates. Unless we return to the global mean surface temperatures of 1.2 degrees Celsius as fast as possible, we will not retain warm water reefs on our planet at any meaningful scale, the report says. Since January 2023, coral reefs have been experiencing the fourth and most severe global bleaching event on record with over 80% of reefs across more than 80 countries affected by extreme ocean heat. Scientists warn that this event has driven reefs into uncharted territory. The report estimates that coral reefs reach a tipping point when global temperatures rise between 1 degree Celsius and 1.5 degree Celsius above the 19th century levels with 1.2 degrees as the central estimate. With current global warming at about 1.4 degrees Celsius, it warns that without swift and substantial cuts in greenhouse gas emissions, the 1.5 degree threshold could be crossed within the next decade. The first tipping of the widespread dieback of warm water coral reefs is already underway, says Professor Tim Lenton at the University of Exeter's Global Systems Institute. He noted that this is already affecting hundreds of millions of people who rely on coral reefs for their livelihoods. The report highlights reefs in the Caribbean where marine heat waves, declining biodiversity and disease outbreaks have driven many corals towards collapse. Along with the coral reefs, Lenten warned, ice sheets in the West Antarctic and Greenland appear to be perilously close to their tipping points as both are shedding ice at an accelerated pace. The loss of land-based ice, he noted, contributes directly to the rising sea levels. We are going to overshoot 1.5 degrees Celsius of global warming, probably around 2030 on current projections. This puts the world in a greater danger of escalating risk of further damaging the tipping points, Professor Lenton cautioned.